So now, lads, it's finally happening. It is finally happening in August. Game five, myself versus JD crossover. We've played a, basically a series every year that we both played 2K. I won in 16 and 17, he won in 19. So right now we are playing our fifth game. I won the first two games, he won the second two. So he probably has a little bit, bit of an advantage. So a link to JD's channel will be in the description. He's got probably the best no money spent account in the world, not gonna lie. And this is the team I'm going to be running with, my God squad. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. The teams he is running with is, I'm not worried. Look at this team. The main reason I'm not worried is because of that LeBron James card. That LeBron James, that small forward. I just can't. He's gonna corner sit, he's gonna be taking long twos. Especially when he's got, actually Larry's in a squad as well, Katie's in a squad, so he's, it's a pretty good team. But normally I'm not too worried because as far as I know, he doesn't know how to pro aid. So we start off by pro aid and he's backing off too much and we shoot the mid range shot. So early on, like I'm not, he's going deep hash and I feel like I'm not too bad guarding deep hash again. Had we pressed triangle a split second earlier, we would have been okay. However, his defense of Pro 8 is really what is going to really decide this game, especially early on. So we get a really nice snatch back there. He's dropping back way too far. We get lucky with the white though. But at the same time, I'm very confident. If that's the way he wants to defend me, I'm good. And he tries to uh, dribble glitch there with Giannis and gets an accidental backcourt. We then miss time the quick stop completely and green the leaner with Chris Stapps. Our luck is very, very high right now. If it's um, Kareem, we don't shoot the three. I mean, I'm going to the basket. Hindsight 2020, I should have probably hit that shot, but like, again, I should have probably taken the shot, but not the biggest deal in the world. So he's coming off that screen with Yanis, and Yanis goes and gets the dunk. So starting off early, we have a bit of a lead, but sure, look, it's, again, it's early days. It is the very, very start of the game. So we get a couple of, like, at no stage, have I, I haven't dribbled through his body yet. Like, that's pretty close we got in dribbling through his body with that hop step dunk with Dino to give us an eight point lead early. Good defensive possession there. Porzingis using his length to get a hand on that jump shot by Kevin Durant. And now we are normal twoing with Kareem, who makes the, I was the dumbest possession. That's the dumbest thing I've done this game. And so we had a wide open dunk. Thankfully, we end up getting the steal. So early on, I'm in control of this game. He, stroke, he really is struggling to defend, whether it's uh, the pro two or normal two, pro two, pro eight, normal two. He's kind of struggling to defend that. Like, he kind of got on ball and predict, which he's trying to do there. He kind of does a good job of it stopping the Chris Stapps uh, quick stop. Chris Stapps goes right to the basket. I did not realize his top step was that bad, but it's fine. We have plenty, plenty of time left on the clock. Hand off to Kevin Durant, hop step, dunk. 12, 18 to six lead. I did not expect this. I did not expect to start off this game with that. We got very lucky being caught for backcourt and we go right down and we hit the white. 21 to 6, 15 point lead after three minutes. Again, this is why you don't use LeBron. He he cannot shoot from corners, or he very rarely shoots from corners. He can shoot, but he very, very rarely does it. So again, at this stage, I'm still not really too worried. I'm still up 13 points. We got a minute to go in the quarter, and somehow Porzingis just fumbles the ball. Bad animation out there. But again, he goes and hits the free throws. We go right to the basket. We out predict him. He expects the, uh, me to toss it to the corner. Even though I don't think he would have had the corner covered, we decide not to. And this is one thing he does. It's so annoying because there's nothing I can do about it. He will just launch the full court pass. We will cut into the basket. I don't know how he does it. Nobody knows how he does it. But when he plays people, those backdoor cuts are crazy. And again, he's, um, he's just kind of struggling to guard. Like I... I kind of get struggling to guard Pro A, but I don't think I even glitched through his body once, to be honest, in this game. Um, just like that, Eddie Curry goes and gets a big steal. Okay, so Yao's on the ball. Hand off to Yanis. And Yanis just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to run through the middle of Yao, like, or through the middle of Magic. It's just awkward, awkward possession right here. And we somehow get a hand off into a dunk with Rudy. Like, that was a bad, bad possession. We misread the behind the back, and we should have got that steal. We press square, we were just that split second too late. It's all good though, it's all good. At the end of the day, we've got three dribble glitch players on the floor and we completely mess up by dribbling there. We hit a wide open Eddie Curry who goes right in, pump fake. I should, like, I really should have started spamming pump fakes. I was about to say, oh, I need to get better at that, but like, game's over anyway. As we dribble right into his back and make a dumb, dumb play to let him bring this back to 11 points. Okay, at this stage, we got, again, kind of lucky he didn't press square and didn't read that pass. But like, we have been 
we've been lucky up to this point. I'm not gonna lie. Like, should I be ahead? Yes. Should I be ahead 13? Probably not. So we completely miss uh, that one there because we accidentally switched to yeah by mistake. And he gets yeah on the back cut. And Jay, uh, Josh and his back cuts, they are, they're next level. Like the amount of back, he just plays really unorthodox, which is why if you ever watch him play in tournaments, he does have a tend to have a lot of success against a lot of good players because he's just so unorthodox in the way he plays. And we then go and green a shot with Giannis. So just like that, even though we didn't start off the quarter the best, we have pushed this out to a 16 point lead. So we've got our biggest lead of the half right here. So I'm honestly just hoping to push this out as much as possible as Rudy gets the steal. And Rudy's so good for me. In general, he's so good. As we kick the ball to Yao Ming, who then goes and greens the three. Two minutes to go in the second quarter, we're up by 19 points. Um, Eddie throws it into Larry Sands. This quarter, we did not miss. So up to this point, we have not missed in the second quarter, but we've turned the ball over like four times. Like again, we throw a bad pass. We throw a beta pass. He makes a great read. We have that wide open dunk there with Giannis. And we are suddenly back to 13 points. Like again, we are not missing. We are just turning the ball over, which is kind of not common for me. I don't turn the ball over that much. I normally I'm not baited, but big, big shot there by Kawhi Leonard. At the end of the day though, if this game keeps going, a couple of points run for him, then a couple of points run for me, I'm fine as he greens out with T-Mac. I get it, greening it, it's a great shot, but surely that should be higher than a 4% contest. Either way though, not the end of the world. And again, you know, you know when I'm kind of struggling a little bit composure-wise, if I'm struggling to tween, and he misses there with Wilt. That was a big shot right there. So 50 seconds to go, I'm like, oh, I can, I can go two for one, or I can assume, because he likes to play fast, or I can try speed him up, and then I'll be able to score, get a stop, and still go two for one. But he ends up getting a... I'm not gonna say a lucky hop step, but a 50-50. That was a 50-50, you wanna go in or be an heavy. He got um, a little bit lucky with that one there. And we also get lucky with this layup that we trigger good animation with Yanis. So it kind of um, it kind of evens out right there. But in the end, he goes for a couple of behind the backs, throws the ball into Yao Ming's hands. And at this stage, nah, nah. Clock management, I'm up 17. I'm up 17, I'm in control of this game. I'm managing the clock. There is nothing he's gonna do in this scenario to speed me up. I imagine the clock. As we run deep hash with Yao Ming, hop step, and again trigger a good animation so that Will can't block him. Porzingis gets a steal off the pro one behind the back, tosses the lob to Dino Raja, who gets the dunk. So just at this stage, I'm cruising. I'm like, look, he's not beating me when he's not gonna beat me shooting twos. I'm fine giving up that shot with Dino. So I'm I'm very, very comfortable. I am very, very comfortable. We accidentally double cross, but at the end of the day, I'm still kind of half losing composure. If I'm triggering that instead of between, you know something's not 100% right with me anyway. We unfortunately don't get to see on T-Mac this time. And the algo switch. T-Mac hits the leaning white. But we can still get dunks. At this stage, I'm trying to shoot as little as possible because again, I know that the, I know that the algo switch at this stage. Porzingis just decides that he doesn't want to play defense, but we got, a, we got very lucky with the contest right there. And we shoot a weird shot there uh, with Kareem. Like, even though I'm up 20, for some reason, I just feel like I've lost control of this game at this stage. And he's spamming pump fakes. There's nothing I can do. He's spamming pump fakes. I can't guard, I can't control all five players. That's um, that's a flaw. That's as, well, to be fair, there's so many flaws in this game. Look, what I'm doing right now, there was a flaw. Like, tweening's a flaw. Dribble glitching pro two is a flaw. Everything's a flaw. Um, and great defense there by Kareem. So at this stage, I played a great third quarter. I'm gonna say this right now. I played a great third quarter here. There was just a lot of animations kind of didn't go my way. But at the end of the day, that happens. It's 2K20. That's a great lob there. But it's 2K20, you gotta know, like when things are going your way, you gotta be composed. Like, just like that there. He just, I don't know how Dino was in a bad position. Um, but when things are going your way, um, play, just keep going. When things aren't going your way, stay composed. And that's the reason why I didn't live comp this game because I know for a fact I would have just lost it. Like there, he didn't trigger the dunk and missed an 8% contest. Okay, Josh dribble glitches in and we struggle with that. Like, I'm actually good at guarding the tween. I'm really bad at guarding the normal two, which is like the Yanis and Kareem dribble glitch. So I was kind of like, oh, no, I would much, much rather see him go up with LeBron James. And that's a great bait. It's a great bait and we get called for the clear pack fail. So at this stage, I'm in like, what's it? I'm in meltdown mode. He pump fakes a few times and then hits LeBron James who hits a white. So this is back to 13. 
I'm definitely not in control at this stage, but a big, big dunk there for Kawhi. And then he goes and hits the Miracle 3. He hits the Miracle 3 in the corner. I'm just like, oh, this really is not my day, is it? So we hit him with a couple of normal twos. Hit a Curry, and that's a massive green. That's a massive green. Because, again, he was going on a big run and a miss there. And he went down in a three, and suddenly this was a nine-point game. That is the worst defense I've ever played in my life. I don't know exactly what it was, whether I expect them to kick out or whether I just switched off. But it ended up being quite bad. So we get him, luckily enough, with a normal two right there. Kick it to Eddie in the corner, who greens. Like, I'm lucky I'm green at this stage. I am lucky because that should have been a clear path. I'm saying this right now. He got screwed. I paused. He was like, oh, not again. But it actually wasn't a clear path. Like, he got absolutely screwed right there. So, end of this quarter, we come off the screen. We get a wide open quick stop three at. Oh, we shoot the white. It's my fault. Yeah, I make mean, the spin right in. He's expecting the pass to Eddie. Nope, I'm going straight in. We out. I'm never not going to do that. Pump fakes, but we do a good job of getting out the out there. And we press square way, way too late right there. And Eddie goes way out of position. Okay, so we are up by 12 points here for Miska. This is a ball game again. I need to be good here, and we attack deep hash, kick to Eddie Curry, and I think that was a straight arm. Um, either way, though, it doesn't really matter. The ball didn't go in. He goes right down and gets to dunk. I'm worried at this stage. Like, 10 points in four minutes is nothing. Heck, I was up 15 points after three minutes. 10 points in four is nothing right here. I was kind of half expecting to be wide open there for a three with Vince because of his positioning, but we end up getting a good shot there with Yao Ming. Rudy does a great job out rebounding LeBron for that board. That was a big, big one right there. We are up by 12. And let's see the way the position goes. We go for the handoff. We attack deep hash. And Eddie jumps it. We trigger a great animation. And again, my player is just deciding not to play defense. Well, it's not really my player deciding. JD obviously knows some way to back up because that's like his main offense is hitting people on the back cut in transition. He obviously knows something that a lot of people don't. So we try to play deep hash for Vince. Vince kind of struggled because JD did a great job guarding deep hash and we missed. I don't know if it's a straight arm or not, but we missed. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, game's back to 12, three minutes to go. At this stage, two stops, two scores, and I have it. We forget to press square. I, I, I legitimately just forgot to press square. I was a very risky pass by him. I just did not do a good enough job to get that steal. Vince Carter attacks the basket and triggers a weird layup animation. And Vince, Vince was a struggle. It was a struggle when he was on the floor, not gonna lie. Um, as much as I do like Vince, this is not the game for him because, in fairness, JD does a great job of guarding deep hash, and that's just terrible defense by me. I need to switch on ball and press triangle a lot earlier than that. Okay, so we are up here by eight, double tween. We haven't crabbed, and we kick to Dino, and we get absolutely bailed. We get bailed. That was a massive, massive shot right there, and we got bailed. After the third quarter, I kind of deserved it. But at the end of the day, he does go and hit a white three. So it kind of evens out. We got bailed and he got bailed right back. So had we both missed, we'd actually be one point better off. He then just run right to the basket with Simmons. And we got a huge, huge block there with Kareem. Okay, at this stage, I'm thinking he's just going to rim run. I don't think that he's going to three hunt at all because he hasn't really shown much of a willingness to three hunt. I think he's just going to rim run with almost everybody. And then Porzingis manages to not let t -Mac go back door for once. And Porzingis with a huge block there on Kareem. Great defense right there and great help. Okay. And we that's probably the first time in the game we actually got a lucky dribble glitch. Obviously, we hit the free throws right here. And 11 point game, 122 to go. One stop and it's over. Like He needs to basically hit a three on every possession, otherwise this is game over. So he starts backing down Ben Simmons. He's looking for the back cuts, and we know he's looking for the back cuts. I know he's not looking for anything other than the back cuts. And we get the steal right there with Ben Simmons. Okay, that was a big one right there. As Kareem runs right to the basket, throws it right into Tracy McGrady's hands. That We could not have done much worse. At this stage, I know he's looking for the three. He went from looking for back cuts, and it's very obvious he's looking for the three. So we're just going to dive a T-Mac no matter what, or dive a Kareem. He ends up shooting the air ball. It's an 11-point game with 49 seconds to go. Porzingis goes and hits Ben Simmons, and he greens the three wide open. And just like that, we win by 14 points. So, in the end, Simmons at 22, Eddie Curry had 12, Dino Raja had 9, Yao Ming had 9 and didn't miss, Kareem had 8, Quiet 7, KD had 5, 
and Giannis had five, Rudy had four, Porzingis had three, and Vince and Bonga didn't score. For him, his team acted a little bit. To be fair, we both shot quite a good percentage in that game. And in the end, like I shot 77%. I actually only missed two shots in the entire first half. I shot 91% in the first half. So that is really where we won the game. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. This was game five and we managed to win it in the deciding game. I think the JD's channel will be in the description. Go subscribe to him. He's, I'm guessing he will have again in 2K21, the best known money spend account. And yeah, this is game five. This is the final game. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbing. Tyson with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not.